Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I've got this planet in my hands. You know I'll waste it if I can. Come on, let's give it a twist. And if it all turns to shit, it all Let's try that again. My life's too short to have a plan. Here, let me help you understand. First, take this drink and this pill. Relax your mind and be still. Let's find out who I am. Cause I. American trash. American Sometimes you just need to alleviate those show. frustrations like to bring out our in a physical manner. John Dresden and Red October. Pandemic. Oh, here they are again, folks. A couple of guest ring announcers, John Dresden and Red That's October. Not the mic again. <laughs> How you guys doing? Make some noise. We're about to get the next match lined up here. Once again, I am the maniacal John Dresden. This is Red October. We are Pandemic. You can search our music online. We're gonna get right to the next match here. Weighing in first, this is a singles match, by the way. Weighing in first at 290 pounds from New Haven, Connecticut, he is Jay Sid. Well, he traded in the manager's car, didn't he? Now he's a wrestler. Obviously, Jay Sin is a man who wears many hats. Well, whatever he is. The man from New Haven, Connecticut is a monster. Coming into the ring, this is gonna be an interesting bout. His opponent, Corey Diamond, we've seen him many times. He's gonna have his hands full. Well, Jason is a relative newcomer here to Primo's Wrestling Canada. And of course, the credentials of one Corey Diamond now, speak for themselves. Opponent, coming all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, winning at 251 pounds, we've got Diamond! Well, here he is from Saginaw, Michigan, but wearing that Canadian flag proudly for all the folks here in Winnipeg, down at the mall, PCW, Primo's Wrestling Mall Madness. We've got Diamond going against the Razorback, Jason. Wow, why does it not surprise me that the guy comes out in the Canadian flag and you're all over him? Is it really that easy to swing favor with you, Kid Remington? Uh, it's the fan. The fans are all over him. I'm just pointing out to everybody watching on, on television what we're seeing, what we're experiencing. And there's, there's nothing wrong with being a proud Canadian. He's not even Canadian. This is ridiculous. Well, hold on. He could be a Canadian, and it just, there's a really good job for him waiting in Saginaw, Michigan. He's an illegal alien. That's what he is. And he needs to go back to the United States where he belongs. Well, you know what? Maybe we're going to interview Corey Diamond later. And we're going to get down to the bottom of that. I don't think we need to interview Corey Diamond. Look at Jason endearing himself to this Winnipeg crowd. Referee Manny Manila back in the ring again. Cream of the crop here in at Primo's and PCW. Well, Corey Diamond is a seasoned pro. Jason certainly giving up a lot of experience, but I would say that the strength advantage certainly would have to go to the man from New Haven, Connecticut, Jason. Whoa! Drop toe hold by Diamond. A 
Couple of big arm drags. Front face lock by Jay Sin. And just laying those forearms into the back of Corey Diamond. Oh. What do you call that, a face buster? You might. That will give you a negative attitude for sure. Or maybe it'll readjust your negative attitude. Diamond fighting back, but Jason is just big, overpowering Diamond. Oh! Now that's a direct hit to the head. I mean, we're in an era where concussions are a massive injury in professional sports. I think maybe the ref should be checking on something like that. You know, I, I have to agree as much as I hate to agree with you, Kid Remington. I mean, Diamond, maybe he's going to hurt tonight. Maybe he's going to get up tomorrow and be okay. But the day after, he might not even know where Saginaw, Michigan is. That's the way head injuries work. The ref should really be watching something like that. And now he's just getting pounded. Stomped mercilessly by Jason. Crowd not too happy with him. And he certainly has not endeared himself to this crowd. But again, this is professional wrestling. This is a competitive venue. And it's not about endearing yourself to the crowd. It's about getting the victory. That's right, and Diamond's fighting hard for that right now. Firing Jason, whoa! The ring just moved a couple of inches, and people are coming unglued here, watching Diamond. Look out, nobody home. What's going on here? Jason setting him up. Could be a pile driver, could be a power bomb. Whoa! Was that Corey Diamond with the diamond driver? Devastating maneuver. He's got him. No, he got Not he got quite. a shoulder up. Only a two count from competent referee Manny Manila. One more. Corey Diamond signaling that he's gonna go to that top rope. That's not Corey Diamond's forte. No, it's not. And he's already taken a ton of time getting up there. Obviously tired from the rest of the match. Oh, nobody home. He took a risk and that one didn't pay off for him. Jason ducks out of the way, out of the ring. Now he's gonna catch a breather. Diamond folding himself up like a lawn chair there. Given his opponent all sorts of time. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter how it works. When you wear yourself out, when those high risk moves from the top rope, second rope, when they go wrong, you're doing nothing but helping your opponent. You're not doing yourself any favors. You're not doing your career any favors because many a career has been ended just that way. Oh, another shot to the head. Look at, you can see Corey Diamond's face. He doesn't know where he is he right is now. He's dazed and confused. Saginaw, Michigan, he thinks he's in Pikachu, Wisconsin right now. It could be. Oh, ramming that massive knee into his back. Jason is pouring it on right now. Look I don't know. I don't know if Corey Dunning can get out of the submission maneuver from Jay Sin. Oh, he's wrenching on him really good. Got a lot of momentum, a lot of leverage. But Corey Diamond is not done yet. Ducks the clothesline. The Beautiful arm drag. Arm drag. And a second. Jason, Corey Diamond find his bearing. finally starting to mount some offense. He's still winded though. You can tell he's just not following up fast enough. Uh oh. Oh, he got him. Here's a roll. Up. Sunset flip. Both guys, gas tanks might be starting to get a little empty here. what Corey Diamond is doing here. You he must think he's Shawn Michaels. It looks like he was gearing up for a super kick. Whatever it was, there's, oh, spear. Oh, unbelievable. 
The Silverback Sinful Spear hammering Gory Diamond, and that's all she wrote. Three count for Manny Manila. It looks like the youth and the raw power of Jason was just too much for the veteran Corey Diamond. Ladies and gentlemen, and your winner, Jason. Well, there he goes. Oh, and here comes his tag partner, Rob Risen, back. I'm surprised to even see him walking right now, the way Zach Mercury tuned him up. Really, I think Rob Risen probably should be in the hospital right now after what Zach Mercury did to him. Without a doubt. Now there seems to be a little, a little dissension in the ranks. He's got a point. I don't know about that. He had a match. Oh, a cheap shot by Rob Risen to Jay Sin. These guys are supposed to be friends. Oh, what a DDT. Sending the big silverback outside the ring. And that was uncalled for. Uncalled for. Deplorable conduct from Rob Risen. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I've got this planet in my hands. If I can. Come on. It's for the PCW Heavyweight Championship. Well, folks, that means it's go time. Time for the championship title to be put on the line. Championship Wrestling celebrating our 12th anniversary this year. March 15th at doubles. Because he's telling me that the diamond ring is off. Introducing first. From Trinidad and Tobago, weighing in 215 pounds, he is the PCW Heavyweight Champion. We all know who that is, folks. Antonio Custio! Here comes the PCW Heavyweight Champion, Antonio Scorpio. And this is not a man to be reckoned with. No, he isn't. He's got a lot of ways to finish you off. Submission maneuvers. He's got that tombstone. He does a jumping tombstone from time to time. He's got a lot of dangerous weapons. Good reason that he's wearing the championship gold. Missing the crowd there. Antonio Scorpio is a man. He can do it all in that ring. He can do the technical wrestling. He can do the high flying. Antonio Scorpio. I had a good chance to talk with Antonio Scorpio before the matches tonight. Very cerebral individual. He takes his preparation very seriously. Every piece of tape, it's got a reason that it's gonna be there. Absolutely. Every stretch, everything he says, he does, every breath is important to him. Here comes his challenger. He is a true competitor, pound for pound, possibly the best wrestler in the world today. He is the homicidal half-breed, Tony Morales. Morales, the homicidal half-breed from Amarillo, Texas, home of Terry Funk. That's right. Legendary Funk Wrestling Ranch. Funk University. Funk you. Funk. I don't know if you're allowed to say that here. Now, I know nothing about this guy except he looks like he has walked out of a Justice League of America car comic as a villain of some sort. championship match is scheduled for one fall. Is it wrong for me to say he looks even crazier with the mask off? I would tend to agree. <laughs> of 
Crowd's giving it to him. Put the mask back on. I tend to agree. There's our champ. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to get that. There's our champ getting a not so glowing endorsement from the crowd. We might be kissing it goodbye here. He has held that title for a long time. Oh. Now wait a minute, that's not how you win a title. You don't just grab it from referee Matt Burns. You have to get in there, you have to pin your guy or make him submit, follow the rules, get her done, lift it up the proud way. All right, PCW Heavyweight Championship on the line. Antonio Scorpio defending his title against Tony Morales, the homicidal half-breed. Now, what, do you know anything about the homicidal half-breed? I don't know much about the homicidal half-breed other than that he's from Amarillo, Texas. And he's got a title shot, apparently. Well, he must have done something right, or someone. Although... The cynic in me, like some something about Antonio Scorpio Jr. Maybe he's handpicking his opponents. Maybe he's I don't think favor to Antonio him. Scorpio is not that kind of champion. Oh, going to work on the arm. <laughs> Looks like this match has started off with some pure mat wrestling, which is, which is nice to see. It seems to me that this match is starting off at Antonio Scorpio's pace, not Tony Morales' pace. Even though he does have the upper hand at the moment, he is wrestling Antonio Scorpio's type of match. That's a great point. Now I know Antonio Scorpio might, look, might have looked a little flustered there with that move and getting to the ropes, but a savvy veteran like him, he knows what he's doing. He, he doesn't wear that title for nothing. He knows where he is in that ring at all times. Trying to hook up here, now he's going to work on the arm. You knew this was coming. Wow, nice hip up combination. Armoring her back around. Scorpio right back, toe drag. Bending it back, you gotta get out of this hold or your other choices are grab a rope or submit. Not a lot of options here. Only a few minutes into the match, you can see Antonio Scorpio, he's already utilizing those submission maneuvers that he's so well known for. Again, the champion going to the ropes and just biding his time, taking it in. It's like he's feeling his way out into a cold pool. Like the water's cold, he's not just gonna go jumping right in there. So it could also be a case of this is a brand new opponent. He's never, maybe, or maybe video wasn't very readily available. It's quite possible. Oh, he likes to prepare for his matches. I've seen him walk out of buildings when they've tried to to swerve him with a quick opponent and stuff, so I know a guy as meticulous as Scorpio. I have never seen Antonio Scorpio do that in my life. He's never ducked the challenge. Nice leg drop from Scorpio. Beautiful. Matt Burns checking that headlock. Texans in a little bit of a bad way right now. Morales off the ropes, and he just ate an elbow from Scorpio. Going for the cover here. One is all they're gonna get. A lot more left in the tank. Scorpio's calling for a quicker count from referee Matt Burns. 
overall, this referee does seem to be a little slow. Let's take a look at the look on his face. A thundering couple of blows. Now Scorpio seems to be running exactly where he wants to be in this match. Hammering his opponent into the corner. Fires him off into the other side. And wow. And hard into the buckle. And that's the power and the raw brute strength that I was talking about of Antonio Scorpio. And now he's just taunting these kids. For sure. I think the only people happy about that besides Scorpio is maybe, um, maybe Morales has a chiropractor or a massage therapist back at home that's gonna love to see that back snapping into the corner like that. Well, now that he's got Obamacare, he'll be able to take advantage of those on more wonderful than, services. On more than one occasion. That our taxpayer dollars pay for. Oh, hangman into the ropes. He's gonna take some star shot of him. He's going for it again. No, he just splattered him. Moved out, moved out of the way that time. That was unfortunate for Scorpio. That's not, not the area that you want to damage. No, and now Scorpio's hung up on the ropes. Now this could be the, the chance for Morales to go get off those ropes and do the same, and he's going to. Like a house of fire. Wow, springing right out of the ring. Hammering the champion, the champ's down. Perfect time to get a count here, but he cannot follow up. A rather unorthodox maneuver from the homicidal half-breed. Now he's gonna fly. Scorpio doesn't really know what's going on. Wow, he caught him. Caught him good. Look out, Scorpio Nelly. Is dazed. Two counts. Just a two. Our champ was almost brought to you from the state of Texas there, folks. That was that close. Breaker. Big clothesline. Wow. Bouncing him off the floor. He's going for a cover here. Hooking that leg, but he gets out of there. And I think that was a slow count. And that's what he's pleading with referee Matt Burns. I have to agree with Antonio Scorpio. That was a three count. So how'd you like your break in that one match? Uh, having Bret Hart out here doing commentary was kind of nice. It was nice to see him out here for a bit. Oh, I'll bet you like that. Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know what, any time I have a chance to learn from a, from a professional like that, I, I'm gonna take it. Are you implying that I'm not professional? No, I'm just saying that maybe, maybe, well, yeah, you weren't out here. I mean, we all know the reason for that. I'm a broadcast journalist. Bret Hart is not a broadcast journalist. Look at Scorpio here. Oh man, met with a ton of resistance. Wait a minute, that just made him mad. He's coming in again. Oh, and the same result. Tony Morales is coming up with the answer every time Scorpio comes rushing in. Look out. Oh, Brutal. Scorpio with an answer of his own. Well, that's what happens when you anger the PCW Heavyweight Champion. I have to agree with you right there. Look out. Belly to, oh my gosh, he just tossed him like garbage. Trademark suplex from Antonio Scorpio, that belly to back, devastating. Might be near a turning point here. You know, instead of drawing with the crowd, maybe if he was hooking a leg there, the champ would be taking the another title home already. Slow count. That was another slow count by this referee. He's out of position. Matt Burns is just as qualified as anybody else here to ref. Well, he's no Manny Manila. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Weren't you getting on Manny Manila a couple matches Absolutely ago? Absolutely not. Wow. Whole bunch of reversals here. Oh! 
is one heck of a backcracker. Well, Antonio Scorpio might find it a little difficult to get out of bed tomorrow morning after that. He's making the ref putting the count on both of them right now. Tony Morales trying to capitalize here. Trying to win his first PCW Heavyweight Championship. You know, the more I think about it, the more, or rather the less I understand why this homicidal half-breed is even getting a shot at the PCW Heavyweight Champion. That's it, it's, that has to be the end of this match. Antonio Scorpio Jr. just about killed him. There's not a lot of life left in a body that gets splattered against the ground like that, I'll tell you that. You think you got Antonio Scorpio Jr. beat, and he follows you right in the rabbit hole, and he blows it to bits. And right now, Tony Morales is laying in a heap. This, this has to be it. You can't kick out of something like this. Oh, he do it. Getting up at the count of two. Two and three quarters, folks. Matt Burns making a very qualified count as far as I'm concerned. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe Antonio Scorpio waited just a little bit too long for that cover because that move was certainly the end of Tony Morales. He seems to be toying with him a little bit here. He's gotta be, oh, see, there you go. You can't take your foot off the gas when you're facing a guy like this. He knows he's got a chance. All he needs is one great match, and that title is his. Oh, he's pulling him back up to do it again. Wow, dragging clotheslines, a third dragging clothesline. Clothesline from Scorpio. That's gotta be it, hooking the leg, two and, no, only a two count. I thought for sure that was over there. You saw no life. As Tony Morales is certainly showing a fair amount of tenacity in this contest, this challenge for the PCW Heavyweight Championship. That is for sure. Here in Mall Madness, title on the line. Jockeying for position, look out, he's setting him up. Bad news for Scorpio. Whoa! Oh, unbelievable, that could finish off the champion. We could be looking at a new champion right now. Spin to sit power bomb, unbelievable move. Scorpio is out of it right now. Why he's not covering him, I have no idea. This is a mistake. An absolute mistake, he should have been going for the cover. We could have had a new champion here. Up at the top rope now. Another guy who likes to showboat. And I hope this cost him the match. This, if he hits this, we got a new champ. Oh, nobody home. Good. Tony Morales is in a bad way right now. Obviously he's gotten no wind in his body. And Antonio Scorpio just gave the sign. You know what oh, that means. Tombstone City, look out. Oh no. Tombstone City, good night. And That's that gonna do it. Is it. To count to 100 right there, folks, when he hits that tombstone. Still, we gotta get the official decision here, but. Your winner of the match, and still, PCW Heavyweight Champion, Antonio Scorpio! One heck of a matchup, I must say, though. Antonio Scorpio will be the PCW Heavyweight Champion so long as he sees fit, because I don't see anybody in the stratosphere that can take that title away from him. Tony Morales, a great start. He wrestled a pretty smart match, but we saw him go up to the top rope when maybe he didn't necessarily need to. A rookie mistake and by you the can homicidal half-breed. Yeah, he must have been homicidal. He's still laying out in the ring. Here's your champ, folks.